A really satisfying afternoon for AFC Telford United this afternoon. They've won 2-1 away to Darlington in Vanarama National League North and I have a very pleased manager, Gavin Cowan, with me. Gavin, I think as a response to Tuesday night and, and defeat at Gloucester, you, you can't, have been, can't be much happier than that, really. No, like I say, I've just said there on the radio, you know, we've, as a group we've not felt like we were far away. Um, and, you know, I'm really proud of all of the players and the staff. They deserve all of the credit this week. You know, obviously people don't look at performances and how close we are they expect a points return and I, which I completely understand that's how ruthless football is but you do come under a bit of pressure but the, the players have dealt with it admirably they've shown what a real close group they are all of the character and, and again you know, I'm really lucky to have some amazing staff who, who can work closely with me as well so yeah they deserve all of the credit today in this, uh, for, for what was a brilliant performance You have to, have to make a couple of changes obviously as well with, with Brendan Daniels been absent and you, you brought in a couple of signings yesterday in, in Edward Jones and Andy Bond I mean I suppose in the case of Andy Bond, you probably had, had more idea of what, what you were likely to get from him, yeah. but, but Edward's a bit of an unknown quantity, but both did well today. Yeah, look, we, you know, we, we're, we're fortunate we have great links. I'm, I'm very fortunate that I have a close relationship with uh, Dave Hibbert. He's a really good friend of mine, um, and we're, we're in contact constantly, and it's just a, a name that cropped up. Um, you know, our whole left side has been wiped out. I think people are very quick to be on the emotional roller coaster that is football and, and criticise, which I understand because they want a points return, but when the whole left side of your your team has been wiped out. It's very, very difficult to, to deal with. Um, you're asking players to play out of position. You know, we're, we're really depleted. I mean, four, four starters today out, of, uh, out injured. So, you know, and obviously Shane goes off injured with his toe as well. So we've, it's, it's one of them where, you know, when you can recruit good players, you have to jump it. And it's credit to both of them. You know, like I say, there, aren't, there are no funds at the club. We, we don't have that fortune. But you've got Andy Bond who, unfortunately for him, has found himself at a, a level that he didn't anticipate. He was sorted out and then um, had to drop down at late notice. So he's been doing everything he can to get to this level and he's backed himself. And, you know, we're really thankful to Stoke for seeing the bigger picture with Eddie because, again, you know, they've let him come out and play games and, and, and that's really benefited us today because, you know, both of them have been, been fantastic. Sure. Big change to the side today as well, and you gave Jordan Davis his first start, and, and he rewarded you with a really good performance, didn't he? Yeah, he just gives us another an, another dimension. You know, he stretches the opposition. He's a, he's a nose, isn't he? And causes all sorts of problems. So yeah, it's credit to him. And um, you know, they've been pestering me a little while now, Don McHale and, and Jordan, and you know, they want to get in the team, and Zach as well. They want to play. They want to play. They want to play. And you know, like I say, Dom. I thought Dom first half. Dom and Zach were magnificent the other night, and you know, again a four-one game that for me wasn't a reflection of the game uh, but we lose 4-1 and you know they get another opportunity today and you just yeah it's just great character like I say I, I, I've, it's hard to find words past how brilliant the players have dealt with everything the last couple of weeks you know after two weeks we would uh, we were going to win the league and then two weeks later after seven games we're the worst team in the league but we know what we are we know that we're very close and we know that today was uh, I asked the lads to sort of burn the boats as you like you know and um with no excuses, leave, leave, leave everything at home, any problems at home, any, any, any excuses, any injuries, everything has to be put to one side and we have to go out and commit to it. And that's what they did today and that's my minimum requirement. So the fact that they put in a performance on top of that is credit to players like Jordan, like Dom, like Zach who could come in and put in them performances. So, you know, I'm really pr proud of the players and the staff. They, they just deserve all of the credit today. Sure, and you had to dig in a bit. I mean, an early goal from Jason Oswell and then you put into you know, a fair amount of pressure for a 20, 25 minute spell and they got yeah. a goal back in there, but, but you, you, you withheld it and then started to come into your own again before the end of the first half and then just really picked that up in the second. Yeah, we play off our shape really well, um, where, where it almost looks like you're against the ropes a little bit with the players are managing it, you know, they can't play through us or around us or certainly can't go over us when we're playing, at, 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 you know, as deep as that. Uh, but we did feel like we could be better. We did feel like a couple of things needed tweaking at half time, just in terms of how deep we were. And obviously, their rotation is you know, Darlington, very good side. Their rotation from from out to in, and, and obviously the, the the striker and the ten, how they interchange is um, yeah, it's pretty impressive. And it's hard to deal with. So it's great to get that 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 shape and, and be able to keep them at arm's reach, really, which is what I felt we did. Sure. A little bit of a blow in the second half, as you mentioned, the, the injury there to Shane Sutton, which I gather might be a, a broken toe, which is a, a, whether that will keep him out or not. But uh, Adam Walker's been taking the armband as well the last couple of games. Yeah. What's your thinking behind that? Just Yeah, just obviously Shane's, it's, it's what, Shane's been captain for us for a long time now. Um, and he had, a, he had a long time out last season and we spoke about it during the, during the off-season. Myself and Shane, James, Shane's been included in this decision. Um, and we spoke about it in the off, off season about whether he should just concentrate on his football. Um, and we had another com conversation at training. Um, 
and it wasn't a decision from me or from it was just a collective decision and Shane just felt as though you know, I felt as well that Shane should maybe concentrate on his game. He has to carry a lot on his shoulders. Being the captain, he's been there for a long time now, and we need to get him concentrating on what he's doing, uh, what he's doing best. And obviously, Adam Walker's in a, you know, very much a captain-esque player. Um, so, you know, whether it reverts back or not is, remains to be seen. But at this moment, Adam will be the captain. It just gives Shane a bit of freedom to be himself, you know, and concentrate on his game. And like I say, he was he was a part of that. We, we do things as a group. We make decisions together. And Shane was a big part of that decision. So there's no punishment or anything like that. Um, and his, his little toe, <laughs> you know, if anything else could go wrong, um, it'd be great. Uh, yeah, his little toe's broke. So that's going to affect him because I think he just got to a point where he'd been withstanding it for half an hour. Um, and he couldn't put up with the pain anymore. So credit to him that he went through half an hour's worth of pain. But it's one of them where he's struggling to kick the ball, push off. and So, yeah, we're, um, we've got to deal with that now. But we have to deal with all of the players. Like you say, when you've got Dom and Jordan coming in and Zach, we have to manage their bodies now because they haven't played a lot of football. So it's a quick turnover to Tuesday. So, you know, we have to, we've got a bit of work on our hands now to make sure everybody's ready for Tuesday. But um, like I say, credit to them all. They'll, uh, unfortunately, they won't be having too many beers on the way back. Uh, with that in mind. Okay, and I'm just going to mention coming into Tuesday now, obviously Chorley at home, you'll have Jack Byrne available for that one because I think his suspension was probably just one game, yeah. wasn't it? So, um, a, 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 another option there, but I mean, you've got a lot of competition in that area now yeah, with, with yeah. Adam and Jack and Andy Bond in there Abs now. Absolutely, yeah, it's good competition, and uh, but like you say, it's um, you know, we've got to look at bodies, so um, uh, but they have done well today, so yeah, it's something that me and the staff will have a chat with, we've got a bit of time on the way home so yeah we'll have a good chat on the way home and, uh, and discuss what's going to be best but um, we'll see how everyone is over the coming days okay congratulations good three points to Gavin thank you thanks mate cheers